Commander Terry Nick's like, back in my day, we had sniper rifles. We could just shoot you clear across the map, and uh, it wasn't really a, it wasn't really a problem. Welcome back, welcome back, folks, to OpenXCOM Five: Third from the Deep, Episode Ten. Episode Ten. I did some administration, so I know the list is uh, updated. Uh, we have these people, good people left. We also need um, some soldiers. And the only thing I'm worried about right now is the points. I am worried about the points. Okay, more soldiers are in. So, we have. Aha! From here, we are on. Sir Mellon, so now we will be at um, former Captain Johansson. Former Captain uh, that's right, C Brain Killa Ever Toaster has killed the brain. And then we have former Captain Prince of USA. We have former Squaddy Doublekin. Former Squaddy Horst. And then we have Troll Workout. That's it. So we have uh, we're down to troll workout. We are now on team open XCOM forum. Where pilot zero zero JD Axkin blokes Tex Aldron and Jeffrey Lannister live. Save that. Excellent. Okay, so research coming along. Sonic blaster rifles, that's what we need to survive, everyone. We really need those blaster rifles in, like, the worst way. We also need to freaking get... Yes! Yes, the blastic rifles! We will get those blaster rifle clips. Ah, uh, thank God. We need to start manufacturing those like right damn away. Cannot manufacture those yet. Cannot manufacture those yet. We do have a little bit of money, so let's uh, purchase some um, technicians if we can. We cannot. We cannot. Not enough money, right? Sub pen Pacifica complete. Not enough money to actually get a sub over there, I don't think. If we wanted to get a sub over there, we would have to have 600,000, which we do not have. But we do have some coverage over there, which is good. Construction of Water Race Somar Pacifica complete. Good. At least that base is up and running. We did get the technicians. We will put those technicians on the, the profiting. And hopefully we will actually get to shoot down something. A little farther away. But we will continue to track it. Abel Seaman Simon is on the case, but he's low on fuel and returns. So we got two bases up, it's great. Yes, the blast of power clip. Okay, so hopefully these things don't take Zerbite because I don't have any freaking Zerbite yet. Sonic blast of clip, and we can do that. Please, please, please. Aqua plastics Zerbite. Okay, so we need to actually capture a UFO, which we haven't done yet, but we can start producing those blast of rifles. We can start producing the blaster rifles, so we will do that. Oh, we don't even have any aqua plastics. Oh, man. Uh, 
Okay, so we actually need to um, actually complete a mission, which we have not done yet. We just did okay. That's good. So at least we didn't uh, do terrible two months in a row. We just did okay. So that's that's a good thing. We did get a little teensy weensy 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 bit of money, which means that we need to pour more money into our manufacturing. We'll pour half our money into technicians. Okay, we need to... Yeah, half our money in the technicians. Did that actually take any money out? Or did I not actually purchase technicians? Pretty sure that should have taken some money out. Unless I purchased them at the other base. No. Okay, I don't want to make that many. Let's get nine technicians. That'll give us enough. Yeah, that's better. That'll give us enough to uh, actually purchase a Barracuda here. Smooth Barracuda. And then I'll need the weapons too. So, um, purchase weapons. Let's see what we, what we want. want. Let's just go Ajax. Let's just go Ajax. Okay. So that base should actually be up and running soon. As soon as the Barracuda arrives. And the technicians have arrived. So that means we can go ahead and start making some more monies. And we're just waiting for something that we can actually shoot down. And um, and we gotta name that guy. So, list. All right, our next torpedo delivery specialist is Commander Vlad Garista. Commander Vlad. Commander Vlad Garista. You are the commander. We'll just put CD for commander, how about that? That way we can put a space. Let me uh, keep it not type, caps. That might actually give us some more room and we can actually put commander there. No, we can't. Perfect. Can we put a space? No. That's mm -hmm. fine. Commander Vlad Vigarista will be in charge of Pacifica all by himself. A small deep east, this could be our chance. This could be our chance. Commander Vlad, go. Come on, get him, get him, get him. We really need to get him. Bam! It's in shallow water. This is this is going to be our breakthrough moment. We need to get the aquaplastics, or he could just escape. He could just escape. Hit an aggressive attack, standard attack. Come on, Commander Vlad, get him! Come on, no, no. Uh, unable. Continue intercepting pursuit. Standard attack from everyone. Go, 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 go. Come on. Really need to get them in there. Alien sub down. Everyone in XCOM is cheering right now. They're watching the screens. They know how important this mission is. They know how important this mission is. And so do I, which is why I'm going to equip the craft before I go on it. Oh man, everybody's dead. Yep. Yep, we're gonna have a lot of equipping to do. We are almost out of magna pack our blast grenades again. But we have enough, I think. We have enough die grenades. Jet harpoons and that. So 
save that inventory template and give the new guys some uh, equipment. Might not get all the equipment, but um, at least you're getting something, right? And this should be during the day, we don't have to worry about chem flares or anything like that. This mission has to be successful. It has to be successful. If it is not successful, then I don't know if we can beat it, beat the game. Because we need aquaplastics. We need aquaplastics. Okay. Everybody's ready to go. Okay, there, Gilman. That's not 100% terrible. Good shooting, Falco, but you just didn't. You didn't kill him, okay? Commander Terran Nick, you can do this. Come on. Very, very good. Very good. Our goal is not research. Our goal is to win. Is to capture a craft, which is something that, surprisingly, we haven't done yet. It's supposed to be easy in the first couple of missions, but we were just unable to do what we needed to do. You're just going to prime it and drop it because you're over encumbered anyhow. And Sir Melon is going to have to come out here and throw that. Oh my god. That's another thing we need is like the other type of grenade. We haven't been looting everything from the field, so that puts us, puts us in a really bad disadvantage. Because uh, all our missions, we have not succeeded yet. Not even for a snapshot. Nope. Prison Prison doesn't have a grenade, neither does this guy. So I think what he's going to have to do is he's just going to have to go out and put some smoke down. More smoke between us and them. Okay, this could be a good mission. Kikaskia, you missed. Oh my god, he's so close. <laughs> he's so close. There we go, got him. I think this mission is actually going to work this time. Oh, he could see him from there, couldn't he? That's okay, we'll just come up behind him and shoot him like that. That guy has a big gun. I would like that gun. If I could get that guy down. Falco can do the job. I know you can. Come on. Very good. And a live one. Nice. Nice. Very good. Dr. Lira uh, wants to know if anybody needs uh, medkits. Let's go to uh, guys, go guys. I got medkits. You guys want any medkits? Oh, this is very quiet. Oh, this is nice. This is so nice. So quiet. No one's throwing grenades at us. No one's like trying to destroy us. Everybody's just having a good time. Just uh, shooting gallery. Shooting gallery of Gilman. Of course, no one's hitting their targets. Kikaskia has hit a target. <sighs> of 
course we can't spam auto shot we have to use aim shots and things like this I don't think you can throw from there but I'll try no no you can't Thirteen to throw, huh? You can throw from there. There we go. There's another one. I think they're panicking. This is a really good opportunity to take some aim shots. Oh, come on, guys. I know you, you're out of bullets. You're out of bullets, Falco. Oh, come on, guys. Don't blame the rifle. Don't blame the rifle. I know that's what you wanted to do. Blame the rifle. Oh, come on. <sighs> oh, Terra Nick, you don't have a grenade, do you? No. Ensign Civilian, you're our only hope. Nope, you are not. Terra Nick can still do something, at least. Probably put down more smoke. That did uh, provide us for good concealment there. We do have to go up and find them, though. Oh, you're out of ammo. No, come on. Come on, guys. Seriously. <laughs> Such bad shooting. Terrible, terrible, terrible shooting. <sighs> Commander Terry Nick's like, back in my day, we had sniper rifles. We could just shoot you clear across the map. And uh, it, wasn't really a, it wasn't really a problem. It wasn't really a problem at all. So I don't know why you guys uh, can't shoot. I don't know. Oh, jeez. Just, uh, that guy came out of nowhere. Hmm. Oh, 23. Sad face. Someone should give that man a rifle. All of that was free, by the way. That was some good, uh, good tactics right there. That guy just came up and punch, punched me in the face. Just came up and punched me in the face for no good reason. How dare he? Now my question is, if they had their helmets on, they're in smoke. Are they taking, like, energy damage or something? They shouldn't. Because they got helmets on, so why would they take energy damage? That's something that maybe we could look at. Put some more smoke down. Nothing that way. Okay, now we're going to be going into the craft for the first time. Our Aquanauts don't even know what a USO looks like. Because every time they try to get into a USO, they run away and um, panic and do all kinds of crazy things. Ouch. No, I can't see him. 
Oh, uh, where is he? Is he sitting in this briar bush right there? That would be terrible. Is there any grenades left? Yes. Oh, you do see him. Oh, he's right there. Benson Civilians is too far away. Commander Immolator, however, might just be able to... Stun him. Okay, so we got Zerbite, we got Aquaplastics, we got Learning Arrays, we got one, only one extra... We actually did good! We actually did good! Look at that! Congratulations, promotions, Captain uh, Sir Mellon and Terran Nick and Ensign Civilian have made um, rank. So, now we have the Aquaplastics and the Zerbite. So, that means we can start manufacturing things. Sonic Blaster Rifle, that's what we need. We need like we actually need like 20 of them but I think I'm just gonna make 14 for now and the blaster rifle clip we're gonna start making some of those as well we're gonna s oh right so 12 days let's make the clips first let's make the clips first cuz that's not gonna take that long right yeah, one day. So we'll wait the clips and then we'll have the blaster rifles coming in after that. Then we'll start upgrading our squad to actually have weapons. Okay, that's good. Awesome. So, in 12 days we will have weapons and we'll start, next mission we'll put as many blaster rifles as possible onto our thing. Okay guys, uh, that's it. I think I'm going to take a break. It's about noonish. I've been playing for three and a half hours. I got four or five recordings finished. I'm going to keep going just because I don't know how much time I'll have to record later in the week and today I have time so let's record. Until next time, folks, this is Jay Stank signing out. Uh, see you later.